fitness journey continues. Um, this is my last week doing the six week six pack and I've lost five pounds since I started it. So that's great. And I mean, I'm not even done yet. So maybe I'll lose six at the end of it. And um, that's a pound a week. So I can't complain about that. Even though years ago when I did the six week six pack, I lost nine pounds apparently, but I'm that much older and it's that much harder to lose weight and get fit. But I'm trying. This is a hectic week. It's, um, I can't believe it's May now and it's Mother's Day this weekend. There's a lot going on, a lot of things I'm stressed about, but um, I'm committed to my fitness because uh, I really have no choice. I was worried about a few health issues like high blood pressure and I wanted to be healthier and I know that losing weight is part of that. So I'm really committed to this. I need to be healthy for Michelle's sake because I'm all she's got. As a single mom, it's tough. It's tough as a mother. Um, when it's all you, you know, anything that goes wrong, anything that goes wrong in the house, I have to fix it myself and try to figure it out. And there's a few things I won't even get into that, that are stressing me out and uh, any health issues. I will not go to a doctor or the hospital. So I just gotta just figure it out myself, um, be my own doctor, um, just try to take care of everything on, on my own. But um, yeah, it's, it's tough. And I tend to doubt myself and uh, think that I can't do things. Like, I didn't think I could do Jillian Michaels at this stage of my life. I thought, that's going to be too tough. But I got through. I got through the one-week shred. I got through the six-week six-pack. So I don't give myself enough credit. Sometimes, you know, I'm stronger than I think. So um, it is frustrating that this whole journey is taking longer than I'd hoped. But I'm going to keep going. Like, even once I stop these videos, because I'm only going to do a couple more of these, um, because really there's not a lot of interest anyway. Like most people that are looking up fitness videos, they're looking for, you know, these young 20 something, you know, stick figure girls that are like, you can lose 20 pounds in one week. It's like, yeah, as if, but, um, like this isn't very glamorous, you know, this is just real life. Like I've been from January to now May and I've lost 20 pounds. I still have another 20 to go. Like it's, in real life, like real people, it, it's a struggle. Like it doesn't, there is no quick fix. There is no fast, um, you know, and, and everyone wants to believe that there's a fast and easy way to lose weight. And it just, even if it were possible, that's not sustainable and it's, um, it wouldn't be healthy. They say, you know, you shouldn't be losing more than one to two pounds a week. So anyway, um, I'm glad at least I got through my plateau because I mean there was a point where I just it wasn't budging at all at least now I'm back to losing a pound a week so that's good but yeah going forward I'm going to keep doing yoga and strength training in the morning and I'm going to do cardio at night I'm going to switch to cardio dance because that's at least more fun like Jillian Michaels she's effective but let's face it like it's a, it's a hard workout it's it is not enjoyable and I just I don't know how much more punishment I can take so I'm going to try to do workouts that are more fun and enjoyable and then once I reach my weight loss goal hopefully when I get to 135 then to maintain I'm still just going to keep up with the weights and yoga because yoga is fulfilling like it's even helping me with my anxiety and really feeling like you have a strong core and feeling that you're balanced it really translates to the rest of your life that you to feel like you know you've got this and, and um, and the strength training too, it kind of like when you feel physically strong in a way you feel mentally strong. So I kind of like the weightlifting. So the one thing I don't like is cardio. It's just, it's hell on earth, but I've gotten so used to doing it now. Um, but uh, it is a chore and I'm thinking if, at least if I switch to dancing, it's going to be more fun. So hopefully, um, I'll do well with that and uh, I will keep you posted like I'm not going to do weekly videos after fitness 20 I'm just going to do one every once in a while when I have a big milestone to report and I will do the uh, before and after photo at the very end of all this I'm not quite at my after yet uh, I'm 20 pounds away so I've got my before photo but I don't want to show that till I get to my after anyway take care stay safe be healthy and if you're a mother happy Mother's Day it's tough being a mother. Take care. Hi. Hi! So I can't believe it's Mother's Day this weekend. Yeah! We're already into May. Time's going too fast. So yeah, I've been going through this journey since January. What do you think of Mama working out all this time? Working out so hard. Every day. <laughs> Just glad I'm not making you do it. So this is my last week doing the six week six pack with Jillian Michaels. What do you think of Jillian Michaels? 
I think seeing The Biggest Loser and little clippets of my video as I'm working Seems on. like torture. Pretty much. Yeah, she calls you an animal. First of all, she doesn't even treat Lulu like a human. It's basically torture. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not doing it. Yeah, I wouldn't make you do that, but I... <laughs> Anyway, bye for now.